are live. We're just waiting for some people to pile up, to pile up, to pile up. You already know the song, people. Sorry, that was Richard. It's coming home. Liar, Jan, what's up? Jerry Carlo, Jan Doblete. <laughs> Alex, look. Woo! Here in my garage, bro, with the wiper on the back, we're gonna do a live stream for you guys. We're gonna teach you one or two things about Facebook, depend on how good you people interact. It's gonna be fire, brother, fire. My lips still fucked up from Vegas, man. The change of weather from the 305 to the, what's the bigger area called? 702, 702 is cold, man. What up, buddy? Everything good, man, everything good, everything good, everything good. We're just waiting for some people to pile up, pile up, pile up. You already know, bro. Like my wife, it's not pile up, it's piled up. I don't give a fuck, man. Listen, English is not my first language, so pile up, pile up, pile up. That's what I say, bro. Sylvia, yeah. So guys, we're gonna get started in a minute, in a second, in a woo, give me a hell yeah. One thing, guys, one thing. Please, I'm gonna eventually stop doing this on my page. So you guys need to follow me on Gabriel Beltran TEM fan page. Click on the like, click on the notifications button. That way you can actually see me and receive when I'm live. Is that a good? Give me a heart. Give me a heart if you're gonna do that, please. Okay, we're just waiting for some people to pile up. You already know, bro. Mark, Beth, Matias, Vamos arriba. What's the page? Gabriel Beltran TEM Facebook.com slash Gabriel Beltran TEM that way click on the like click on the notification that way we can get started with our training right now Okay So guys really quick really quick really quick how many of you guys are running Facebook ads and and the feel a feel a feel like you're getting super expensive CPAs and CBMs I'll give me a favor remote, Try, yeah. bring, bring the laptop so we can, we can share with the people what we're doing. All Just right. bring the laptop real quick. Yeah! Guys, in a minute, in a, just a minute, we're gonna share with you guys a couple powerful strategies for Facebook. If you're running Facebook, if you're not running Facebook, God, you are being missed out, man. And I will say to you, don't be a little bitch. So you know what? Now that I see that, I need to actually flip, whoa, flip the screen. Now you can read it. Don't be a little bitch, man. Don't be a little bitch. Okay, guys, guys. So this is what we're gonna do really quick. Really quick. What up, bro? What's up, bro? Yeah. Up? You already know, you already know. We just sharing value with the people. Now. So, let's see live stats right now. Full screen. So you guys, this is not budget. Right now, we are cruising at forty thousand dollars, eight hundred dollars for the day. So we're gonna do this. Uh, by the end, we finish the live. I'm gonna show you again and see how much money we make while we're talking and piling up people. All right. So here's the one, two things I want to share with you guys. Give me a heart if you're running Facebook advertising right now, so I know how many people. Or actually, even better than that, man. Say me. Say me if you're running Facebook ads right now, so I know what topic to talk about. But if you're running Facebook, just say me, me, me if you're running Facebook. That way I can share with you in a strategy to actually lower this, the cost per, uh, per conversion and kind of help you out so you can start crashing it right now because guess what? Chinese New Year already finished, man. So you gotta be running traffic. Me, says Rainier. Someone, someone says, yeah, me, Matias, Jean, me, Liad. Who else? Who else is running traffic? Calling. Dean. Perfect. So I found a few guys. Guys, let's take it. Let's get, we're gonna do this. If this help you in any way, shape, and performance, please. All you have to do is just spread the word, man. Because I believe it's my fault if people don't know me. Okay, I know I can help people. So it's my fault if you don't know me. It's my fault. So help me reach more people. So we're gonna do this, guys. Very simple, very quick. Let's say you have a profitable product, but lately Facebook is killing you with the CPM, okay? And you're not profitable anymore. Okay, so this is what we're gonna do. Let me see. I can go up to here, cool. So you got ad account one running, and let's say your CPM 
By the way, guys, this is gonna be a quick one, but a very effective one. So pay attention, okay? I want you to write this down. Uh, that way you can actually have it or take a screen picture or watch the lab again. I don't know what, let's say CPM is right now, I don't know, $17. Some cases could be $60, like I see students with a CPM of $60, which is freaking ridiculous, man, okay? So this is what we're gonna do. You're gonna go to inside your campaigns. Campaign, is, is that right? I don't give a fuck if it's wrong, bro. Just, 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 just read it. Campaigns. So you're gonna look on campaigns, okay? You're gonna go to the ad sets, okay? And on campaigns, you're gonna check every single one, okay? You're gonna check every single campaign. Once we check that, you got it all checked, you're gonna move to the ad set level. That way it's gonna mix every single ad set. Let's say ad one, ad two, ad three, ad four, ad five, okay? And the list goes on and on because obviously you're gonna have hundreds of thousands of ad sets. Now, let's say this ad set has a CPA cost per purchase where you're profitable at, where you're profitable. So let's say to me, a gold ad set will be $17. Now, another tip, guys, focus on products that you have a big margin because if you don't have a big enough margin, I'm talking $30 on app, it's gonna be hard for you to make money today with Facebook. So focus on products that has a $30 markup in an app. Okay, let me just move this. Ooh, no, this way actually, okay? And this is what you're gonna do. You got the ad sets, you got select the campaign, now you got the ad sets. This ad set is uh, $17, it's a winner, okay? This one is a 35, it's a break even. This one it's a 22, it's good. Okay, you gotta identify those. This one it's a 19, it's a winner. And this one let's say it's a freaking 13, it's called. Okay, so once you identify those ads, let me just move this over here because the ring light is making, okay, it's making like a shadow. So are you guys good, you guys see that? Okay, cool. So 17, so what I'm gonna do is actually highlight these ad sets. That one, that one, that one, and that one. And I'm gonna duplicate that into a new campaign. Okay? You got that? Into a new campaign. The new campaign now is gonna have this ad set, this ad set, this ad set, and this ad set. That's a one, two, three, four. Brand new campaign, guys. With the winner performing assets. We're gonna do a budget, daily budget of those at 75 bucks. Okay, you're gonna do a daily budget of 75 bucks and you're gonna let them run. Once you do that, you're gonna have created this new campaign, which you can call an export campaign, okay? And once you do that, you're gonna export that campaign out of that account to a new account. So you're gonna, this campaign, okay? We're gonna export, export select on Power Editor. You're gonna export select on Power Editor and you're gonna download a CSV file, okay? Once you download that CSV file, guys, follow me here. Once you download that CSV file, it's gonna get on your desktop, okay? Once the CSV file is on your desktop, you're gonna open google.com slash sheets. You like that? Did you guys like that? Ah, I got you a new one, huh? Let me just lower this a little bit. There you go. So you guys can see. The CSV file, you're gonna open it with google.com forward slash sheet. Now, you're gonna open the campaign, okay, on Google Sheets. And what I want you to do, pay attention to this, and I cannot get into the little greedy details, but this is literally the guy step by step for you to have enough resource and information in order to do it for yourself. So whoever take action is gonna do it. So what you need to do on the Google Sheet is actually delete. Okay, you're gonna delete the ID on campaign, ads, and ad. Okay, you're gonna delete the numbers whatever it is, all of them, you're delete them. And then you're gonna save the Google Sheet without every single ID. You're gonna delete the campaign ID, the ad set ID, and you're gonna delete the ad ID. Then you're gonna export, okay, as a X, 
MLF something like that. It's actually the Excel sheet. Okay? Something like XMLF or something like that. It's the Excel sheet uh, thing. So you guys, please take a screenshot right now. Take notes because I'm gonna about I'm about to delete this part of the board. Is that cool? Can I move forward guys? Give me a hearts up if I can move forward. Okay, anyone who's new to this live, they can go, you can actually see it again. But if you guys are watching this, give me your hearts if I can move forward, okay? Or take a screen picture. Hearts, perfect, moving on. Moving on, moving on. Oh, man, I like this sport. Well, Good job, I like it. I like it. You need this or not? No, we'll go for now. So guys, once you export the file, now what you need to do is go to Power Editor and you're gonna literally click on an icon that is like this, something like this, next to the garbage can, okay? This is the garbage, the trash can. Next to the trash can, there's an icon. It looks something like this. I don't know, has a thing. So once you click on this thing next to the garbage can, you're gonna do Add Sets, okay? On the second part of, of the window. Here's literally Export and here's Import. You click on Add Sets and then you're gonna import the XMLF, I think it is, file, okay? Once you import that file, remember, you're gonna import this file into a brand new ad account. So what our job is to, from the ad account one, that we're getting killed with the CPM at $17, we're gonna create one ad account, two ad accounts, three ad accounts, four ad accounts, five ad accounts, which is gonna be number six. Why? Because one is already in use. So we created one, two, three, four, five, and we can name it two, two to six, okay? We're gonna test every single ad account. So we're gonna import this, the whole thing here, into this one, into this one, into this one, into this one, into this one. So once you import the ad account, the campaign, which you already exported it, it's gonna give you an error. Don't worry, don't freak out about the error, okay? With add error, what you're gonna do is literally go to the add level, add level, and you're gonna enter the post ID. Okay, enter the post ID from the other account. That way you can refresh the created, upload, and schedule it. Schedule it to 7 a.m. next day. Okay, next day, and you're gonna run it at seven days window. Okay, seven days window. Okay, so once you do that, guys, I'm gonna answer some questions that you may be asking yourself. Dude, I only have one account. He <laughs> only have one. Listen, contact Facebook support and ask them for more ad accounts. Chevy, what's up, my brother? Ask them for more accounts, okay? If you only have one account, you go to Facebook, uh, notifications, whatever, you go to the help section, contact them and ask for more accounts. That way you can actually export what I just showed you guys. For those who are coming in new to the live, please watch the replay because we went through all the nuggets here. And you're gonna use one, two, three, four, five new accounts and import those campaigns scheduled at 7 a.m. to the next day, to seven day window. So guys, let's see something. Oh. Let's see something. We've been talking for how long, guys? How long were we talking to? 13 minutes. We've been, we've been on it for 13 minutes. Who knows that, what number we were? We were at 40,000, right? Guys, we were at 40,000. We went up $1,420 in four, what? 15 minutes? 14. 14 minutes, guys. $1,400 in 14 minutes. This could be you, man, I'm telling you. This could be you. The only one holding you back is yourself. No one else, dude, just yourself is holding you back. So get your lazy ass, man, and start freaking working your lazy ass up and start working. That's better English, proper English. Anyway, guys, we're gonna do a five minute questions, 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 because this was gold, man. I'm telling you, whoever applied this is gonna owe me a beer and more because when I see you and we'll see each other, you gotta pay me for a beer because this, this right here, this right here, man, it's gonna help you lower the CPM and it's gonna be equals to lower CPA, cost per conversion. Questions. So with that lad that says, when you export the campaign to a new account, what are you doing with the audiences? The audiences, we share the audience across all the accounts. Okay, good question, bro. 
Good question. You get in there. I like that. I like that. You get in there. So, guys, it's obviously that once we explore and we try other multiple accounts, we're going to share. Okay? We're going to share audiences, pixel, and creative. Yeah, I'm going to turn on this light. Is Which it too dark? Which is ID. Yeah, it's too dark. No, it's fine. It looks, it looks good. Oh no, I, I like it better with the light on. The people are saying that the ring is on the way. The ring? Yeah. Okay. Just keep the ring, brother. There you go. There you go. All right, cool. So you're gonna share the audiences, the pixel, and the creator, which is a post ID, okay? Across all the accounts. What other question we got? New pixel for account? No, no new pixel. We share the same pixel. Share the same pixel. Same pixel across all the accounts. So I'm talking about Stripe and PayPal merchant. How do you handle Stripe and PayPal holding the money? Bro, it's, honestly, you got to provide a good customer service. That's the only way to handle customer uh, PayPal and Stripe. You have to provide a good customer service. I recommend you having a 1-800 number. I do 24-7 in the United States. You pay a dollar per minute. Some of them are cheaper. I don't know. I'm just testing this one. You got to have a customer service rep in order to provide and lower the chargebacks. How do you pay goods if you have a lot of orders per day? I literally buy a week of inventory ahead. Uh, right now, before no, before I was just drop shipping. When I get the money, I pay for the inventory. Right now, if I see that I'm gonna scale, uh, right now tonight I gotta actually place an other order for this week because I'm selling like I don't know 1,500 units a day right now. So you gotta balance it out. You gotta see if you're scaling aggressively and you only have 3,000 units in US, whatever you gotta calculate how many units a day that way you divide it a week and you you. I can afford to be four days delay that I'm gonna be okay because as soon as I get here, it's one day to deliver. Any other question, guys, about what we went over right now? No, just Leo's asking that you use manual bid. Manual bid, yes, I'm testing manual bid, but uh, honestly, I get better results without a bid. That's it. That's it, guys. Peace and love, man. Apply this stuff and share your results with your boy. Bye bye.